because it's as crooked as a dog's back leg, neither one of them can tell you the truth if their life depended on it, but other than that. Oh, God, I swear to goodness, I have never hurt so bad my knee, my back, my pelvis. It's all out of whack. I got curvature, spine, and everything. I guess you, the doctor read all that. And you take a picture of my spine, and I hope you do, because you're going to see something put together like you've never seen. And then you take it. Yeah, but I'm saying, okay, and my pelvis has been rebuilt. Okay. Okay, but no, I'm in bad shape. See, they can't fix my knee. Uh, they busted my hip, trying to get the rod out of it. And uh, my knee's bone to bone. Bone to bone. And it's harder than fuck to walk on it. But I'm doing it. If I had some pain medication, it'd be a lot easier. Uh, but what's coming about now with where we are is the very people who are truly disabled, because we have so many scallywags in the system, are going to get hurt severely when this trust fund runs out of money. I'm handicapped and don't drive. Oh, you did not know I was in four multiple trauma accidents. Yeah, multiple trauma stress syndrome, damaged goods. Okay, yeah, I've had open heart surgery, everything else. Uh, I have no left foot. It's an orthotic in my shoe. I just broke my fucking kneecap in April. Literally shattered it. I've had to operations that failed. I think you could call it a scheme, you could call it a scam, you could call it fraud. People are brazen. There's you know, an element that's going to be looking for any way to defraud the government and, the, and they'll do it. The Social Security Administration is supposed to do periodic reviews to see if beneficiaries are still disabled. But there's such a backlog, the government relies heavily on the honor system, where recipients report their own health as better, worse, or the same. As for the con artists who might think no one is watching... You have agents out spying on people right now? They should be. 